So, I, you know what? I, my two favorite questions to people, what, no matter what I buy, is what would you buy and why would you buy it? So the pharmacist said uh, the one-touch machine is the one that she would recommend, and uh, she said it's been around the longest, and uh, it's uh, it's her choice if she had to, you know, get a diabetic machine. So we've got our little test strips, uh, number 25 test strips, and we've got our little Lance piercer. And you know, to be honest with you, I don't like needles. I hate needles. As a matter of fact, I could never, ever be a junkie because uh, you don't have to stab yourself with a needle. I'm one of the biggest chickens when it comes to a needle, trust me. If you're a new diabetic or you've just been uh, diagnosed with diabetes, type 2 or type 1, doesn't matter, you still got to stick yourself with a needle somewhere, right, on your finger or on your hand. And they suggest the side of the finger actually is best. So, yeah, today is the day I, when I do this to wear a white shirt on camera with blood around. <laughs> Smart thinking, Rick. Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do is you just you take your machine. It, you make sure you wash your hands really thoroughly. That's why I'm keeping this finger away from uh, most, most everything because I want to get a good blood sample here. You just take your just take your uh, strip, put it in there. Make sure it says 25. It comes alive. Yes, it's 25. And it says, oh, Rick, you got to draw, draw the blood. Okay, so I'll draw the blood. So, I, ow. It actually doesn't hurt at all. See that? There's a drop of blood. Can you see that? Okay, so we're going to move. We're going to move the blood toward. Make sure you get a good flow of blood. So, blood sugar is 7.4. You know what? 7.4 is pretty good. The old adage is uh, 6 to 8, feeling great. All right, next is blood pressure. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, I have what they call white coat syndrome where I go into my doctor's office and my blood pressure is up quite high because, I don't know, maybe it's psychologically, I don't like going to the doctor, so my blood pressure could be 150 and above at his office, whereas I will come home and record my blood pressure and it can go down as low as 120. So go figure, you know, so my doctor understands that. So, you know, get a good blood pressure. We've got an Omron um, model HEM705CP. Because I'm a diabetic, the doctor said, go out and spend some good money on a blood pressure machine. So this was about a, a little over a hundred bucks, I think. And it comes with, get this, a little printer. And it is really, really neat. Battery operated printer. But this blood pressure machine is awesome. So let's turn it on. And let's do the live blood pressure test. Now today's show is going to be, and, and you know what? This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, uh, use your smartphone as a verbal management for pain, uh, or a pain diary, if you will. Um, okay, so here we've got the machine on. Let's start. I shouldn't be talking as I'm taking my blood pressure, so you should have both feet flat on the floor. You should be relaxed. Now, here's the really neat thing. Take your blood pressure four or five times during the day, at different, different times of the day, and then take an average of that. Because your blood pressure can change within a couple of minutes, within a minute. I mean, I... The other day, my blood pressure was 151, and then I waited a minute or so, and it was 140. So now it's a, oh, look at this, look at this, 121 over 67. So you saw it here, folks, first. See, I'm nice and relaxed. I'm doing a show. My blood pressure is 121 over 67. But take this same person, me, and go down to my doctor's office, and it could be 150 or higher. And that will tell you that it's, it's <laughs> he's not going to get a proper diagnosis. So get a good quality blood pressure machine at home and use it for the whole family and record their blood pressure readings. Okay? Very, very important. All right. After the intro, we're going to talk. We've got some great stuff on today's show. See you then. Coming up next. Hang on. Attention, this is a public service announcement. It has been suggested that listening to the Healthy Tech Talk podcast network can become highly addictive. If you or someone you know is a geek or geekette, 
Tune in immediately to www.healthytechtalk.com for the latest tips, tricks, and education on holistic technology and its uses. This podcast experience is based on the concept of keeping the computer user healthy, balanced, and efficient in today's modern-day stressful environment. Remember, tech doesn't have to hurt. Here's the host of the show and the world's only holistic technology broker, Rick Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 9.24 p.m. and it is the 20th of August, day 6 on our program. I screwed up on the um, I, on yesterday's podcast. I put day 6 on the heading of the... So forgive me. So this is actually day 6. And today we want to talk about using your smartphone as a recording device when you're in pain. You know what? If you don't feel like using your smartphone to ta- you know type in your notes... Use your smartphone for recording. And he, he, let me get, offer you a little suggestion. On the Android side, I found one, found one that says, Tape a Talk Voice Recorder. And it is very high quality. It's four and a half stars. Let me read to you uh, some of the reviews. It says, Works great. Um, have had this run for four plus hours continuously on a 16 gig Google Samsung Nexus One phone in a slightly noisy environment with multiple people talking for a podcast. Resulting podcast shows sounded great and clear with each source close to the phone sounding crisp. Highly recommend app for those who do ad hoc recording. Been using this app for seven months. This guy really loves this app. So you can go to the Play Store and download any any uh, recorder, but it seems to be that uh, Tape a Talk Voice Recorder for free gets top marks. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, it's like this. I come on every day and I do a video show to tell you how I'm doing. Oh, by the way, my pain threshold. Pain was at 5 today uh, in the morning. Uh, and then it it escalated to seven, seven and a half at night. And sometimes night seems to be the worst. But what what I'm suggesting to you to do is take your take your smartphone, and when you're having anything, when you're having issues, when you're having a bad day, when you re, you can record your fo- your what you ate. You know, I say get on there and say I had dairy today, and I noticed uh, I'm not doing so well. You can track your your food and stuff. And then as you're walking, you, you, once you get a collection of little recordings that you've personally done, as you go out for your walk, you can replay these recordings to find out if there is a pattern. If there's one thing that's sticking out that's making the pain worse or aggravating it or something that's making the pain uh, alleviate. It could be physical walking. It could be swimming. It could be, you know, but... You can have your smartphone with you all the time and record what you're doing aud- audibly, right? Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is, is pacing. Learn how to pace yourself. So if you're going to do a little bit of activity, do that activity for about an hour and then make sure you take a 15-minute break. Even though you don't think you need it, when you pace, your body gets used to rest. And if you're like me, when I first injured my neck, I would just push through the pain and push through the pain and keep on going, going, going. At the end of the day, I was a mess and it took two or three days to recover from that. Don't do that. Now what I do is I do a little bit of work and even though I'm I'm not tired, I sit down and rest because my body, I want to rest before the pain becomes an issue. Does that make sense? It, it's, it's certainly working for me. So today's lesson was use your smartphone as an audio source recorder to record if you're having bad days, good days, what you're eating, uh, your activities and things like that. And then, actually, you can turn it into a series of podcasts if you want on Spreaker. Isn't that a great idea? Folks, we'll see you tomorrow on the 21st of August on June 7th. This is Rick Holland, your host for Healthy Tech Talk. Take care out there. Bye-bye.